Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Fun Learning Math with me, Vanessa. So this question has been posted several times and um, one of the ways to solve this question is through like total value concept. But of course, we could also solve using what we are good at, or model drawing and comparison. In a shop, apples are packed in bags of 8, oranges in bags of 5, and pears in bags of 3. Jermaine, Karen, and Linda each bought an equal number of bags of fruits. Jermaine and Karen bought both apples and pears, while Linda bought oranges only. Jermaine bought two more bags of pears than apples, while Karen bought two more bags of apples than pears. Who bought more fruits in total? How many more? So Linda counted all her oranges and Jermaine counted all her apples and pears. Linda had two more fruits than Jermaine. How many bags of fruits did the three girls buy in all? Wow. So for part A, okay, we could solve entirely with the use of model. So let's take a look. So it's the same total number of uh, bags of fruits. So let's say if Jermaine bought um, this number of bags of fruits, so uh, but she bought two more bags of pears than apples. So take out this two and then divide the remaining portion into two. Okay, so for the proper unit, you can correct one unit. So one unit plus two will go to the bags of pears. And then one unit will go to the bags of apples, right? And likewise for Karen, do the same thing for her, same number of bags of fruits. So again, take out the two and then divide the remaining portion, right? And But in this case, one unit plus two will be the bags of apples. And then one unit will be the bags of pears. So comparing this two right now, what is the same? What is common? Take away what do we have. What is uncommon or what is different between these two? As you can see, as the model has highlighted, Jermaine would have two bags of pears. And then Karen would have two bags of apples. So, is it obvious? Who would have more or who bought more fruits in total? The answer is Karen. Okay, because looking at her bags and Jermaine's bag, isn't it obvious? So how many more? 2 times 8 minus 2 times 3 equals to 10. Alright, so now going over to part B. Okay, so here we still have to bear in mind the important facts regarding the question. Equal number of bags of fruits and the fact that Jermaine bought two more bags of pears than apples. Okay, look, so let's take out the uh, two odd one out, okay, and uh, put them on the so-called right hand side. So what remains on the left hand side must be an equal number of bags of apples and pears. Meaning to say that if I have one bag of apples, I will have one bag of pears. But I don't know how many uh, groups there are on the left hand side. Okay, and the other thing that we must remember is that there will be an equal number of bags of oranges on both sides because it's the same total number of bags of fruits. Okay, now pause and think for a while. On which side, the left hand side or the right hand side, do you think there will be more oranges? Welcome back. I believe you have um, solved it. Yes, it's on the right hand side. Okay, so on the right hand side, two bags of pears, and then there must also be two bags of oranges. Okay, and comparing the number of fruits inside, okay, you can see that there are actually more oranges on the right hand side, and that is four more. Right, so let's now go over to the left hand side. If I have one apple or one bag of apples and one bag of pears, so I would have two bags of oranges also. So now let's take a look at their total number of fruits in these two bags. 8 plus 3, 11. Uh, 2 times 5, 10. You realize there will be a shortage of one orange. Right? So, what's next? Okay. Better in mind. Okay, coming back to the question again. Linda 
had two more fruits than Jermaine. Eh? But you look at the right hand side, there are four. Ah, let's take them out first. Remember, on the left hand side, there must be an equal number of fruits on the side. So what it means is that after taking the two, I would have two extra, so to speak, oranges. And these two extra oranges had to go over to the left hand side to make up for the shortfall. Right. So one orange for two bags. I have two oranges for four bags. Right. So you can see that um, this you gradually solve by comparing. Okay, of course, um, this I would say may help you also in your own life as you, you identify your strengths and your weaknesses and uh, you see whether you can actually make up some weaknesses with your strength, right? Things like that. So how do you write the number sentence? Well, you could present it in this way. Huh? Um, I have two extra oranges and these two extra oranges will go over to top up the shortage on the left hand side. Every time one orange is used, okay, there'll be two bags. So I have two oranges, so I would have two times two, four bags over on the left hand side. And then plus the two bags on the right hand side. So each girl bought six bags of fruits. Total, eighteen. Alright, so this is providing you another perspective and that this perspective can actually be transferable to how you deal with problems in life. So um, please give me a like if you find this video beneficial. Subscribe to my channel for more posting of the such videos. And yeah, <laughs> okay, um, wish that you have a good day ahead and goodbye. See you soon.